by now in this tutorial you are learning few very basic concepts about this framework now this is the time to give some real time shape to our application so that we can see a very good working application into the browser in this video we will learn about layouts so let's start we will start our learning from what is layout how can we create a layout into an sp.net or mvc application then we will learn how can we use layout file we will also learn what is render body method and loads of other things that are required to use layout into an sp.net core mvc application that we will learn in this video this is a must watch video for you guys so please watch this video very carefully let's start what is layout a layout is a dot cs html file that is used to provide common structure to other views i believe this line is not making any sense to you right now because it has an extension of cs html so simply we can say it is an view file this file is used to provide common structure to other views what is the meaning of this line that we will learn into upcoming slide so don't worry about that before learning about the layout into asp.net core mvc application let's focus on a problem that we will face into the development Suppose I am working on a view file. Since every view file is the combination of HTML and CSS code, and ultimately this view will get rendered onto the browser of a particular user, so we have to give a proper HTML structure on this view. How? We have to write the doc type onto this HTML file, or we can say view file. We have to start the HTML tag. We have to give the head tag. We have to give the body tag. We have to give the footer tag. We have to create headers, navigation, footers. and obviously we will be using some css file and other images into this application so we have to refer all those css files at this place into the head box then if you are using any navigation then we have to write the entire code of navigation over here and also if you are using any footer then we have to write the entire code of footer over here and of course if you are using any js file then we have to refer those js file over here so that is fine so since we are working with view then obviously we have to make all the changes into this application now suppose i have to work on another view suppose the first view was for the home page and now i am working on the about us page of this application since this about us page is also in view so i have to repeat the entire code again and again so i have to start from doc type then i have to use the html tag head tag and here into the head section we have to refer all the static files again what are the static files all the css files images and the js files now suppose you have to create one more view for the contact us then we have to repeat again the entire code into this third view this might create a problem to you suppose there is some change into the path of any css file then you have to update that path into all the view files that you have created into the application during the development we have to update the path of a particular css file or we can say we have to rename a particular css file and since we have referred that css file into all these pages so we have to update that path or name of file into all the views that we are using into this application in this scenario there are chances that we can miss updating this path in a particular view and that will create a problem for us so as a developer we must find out a better solution for this problem since we are repeating the common code again and again so what is the best solution to resolve this problem now let's focus on the solution let's extract the entire common code into one another view file so what is the common code over here the structure of the html in every view file we will need the doc type then we will need this html tag we will also need this head tag inside this head we will need all the meta tags then we need title and also we need few common css files suppose we can say bootstrap file so this bootstrap css file will be required for all the views that we will be using into this application so this is the common file if we have some other global level css file that is also common to the entire application so we can extract that entire code into one place then we have body header navigation since the navbar will be fixed to entire application and it will be common to all the views so why don't we extract that navigation bar as well into this common page then at this place here you can see i have written insert other views here so we can create a place over here so that other views can get rendered at this place then we can close the body 
and footer will also be common into the application so we can also extract this footer at this common place and if we have all the global JS files just like the jquery file or any other global file that you are using into this application then you can define all those files over here so what problem is this solving now in case we have updated the path of our css file or the name of the css file or any javascript file then we simply have to update that path or file name only on the one place now let's see how other views will interact with this common code and now suppose i have to create one view for home page so i have created this home page and inside this home page i have written only the required content suppose on this view we have to return only first view content suppose i only want to display this message so we have to create one view with only this content because the other required code which is common we have already written that code into some other file and this some other file is called as layout file into ASP.NET Core MVC application. If you are coming from the ASP.NET Core web form background, then at that time we were having master page. Here in the .NET Core framework, this layout file will work as the master page into this application. And now let's see how it will work. Suppose we are rendering this home page view onto the browser. The entire code that we have written into this view that will be placed over here at this place that we have defined into the layout file and we will have a proper structure onto the browser. Now second time, suppose I want to create some other view just like this one and now suppose I want to render this second view onto the browser then now we can use the same layout file for the second view as well. The code that we have written onto the second view that will be placed over here at this place that we have defined into the layout file and we will have a proper structure into this application. I believe this has made the life of developer very easy because we have the common code only at the one place. If we need to make any change in the common code then we will update only one file and we will have the access in all the pages. Now let's see how can we define this common code inside this layout file. This common code can be defined by using at the rate render body method. In any layout file we need to define any common code then we can use render body method. This render body method is used inside layout file to provide space for other view. We can have only one render body method inside one layout file. So it means we can define one render body method and we can define it anywhere into this layout file as per the need of the application. Now let's try to learn all these things into the real time scenario. Here you can see we are back to the bookstore application. And if you are watching this video very carefully, you are listening to me very carefully, then I believe you must be aware with the problem. Here you can see we have the index file and we have written loads of code on this index file. We have written the doc type, HTML tags, head, body, scripts and loads of other code on all the pages. If we go onto the about us page then again you can see that we have similar code over here as well. Let's try to fix this problem by using layout file. Since layout file is a common file into this application and that layout file will be shared by all the views that we have inside this home controller and all the views that we have inside this book folder. So we cannot put that layout file in these folders. For that we have to create one common folder and if you have seen the video of razor view engine then for common code we create a shared folder. So here we can create a new shared folder. New folder the name of the folder will be shared and let's press enter. So you can see we got new folder with name shared and all the common files that we are using into this application all those files we will put inside this shared folder. So let's try to add a new file for the layout. Right click on this one, choose add, you can simply choose view or you can simply use new item. Inside this new item, choose this visual C sharp, then ASP.NET Core and here you can search for Razor. Here you can see we have all the files which are related to Razor. So since we are learning about the layout, so we can choose layout. Okay, once you have selected the layout file, then just focus on the name of this layout file. The name of this file is starting from underscore. So we have underscore layout.cshtml. Why we are having this underscore in the name? This is just the naming convention that we follow in ASP.NET Core application. If we are creating any view that is common to this application, then we generally start the name of that view from underscore. 
we can have one question over here what will happen if i am not starting the name of this layout file from underscore then there will not be any impact into this application this is just the naming convention that we follow into sp.net core mvc application this underscore does not have any relation with performance or any other thing this is just the default naming convention okay so let's see what all we got inside this layout file here we got the entire html structure here you can see we have the doc type html then html tag then we have the head here this head we have some meta tags then we have title so inside this title we have written viewback dot title we do not have any knowledge about that one so let's remove this one and let's put a new title Rogue store application then we have body div tag and inside this div tag we have this render body method since layout is a common file to this application so we can put entire common code over here okay so we have the common html structure we can also put all the css files that we are using into this application over here inside this head tag let's copy all the css file let's copy both these css file from here go back to the layout file and let's put them over here fine now go back to this index.cshtml file by now in this application while we were working on the view file we were ignoring this line that we have on top of this file so we were having layout is equals to null so basically at this time we were telling our application that we do not have any layout file into this application now we have a layout file into this application so we can define the name of that layout file over here how by simply using the string and we can type the name of our layout file so if you are updating this property like this it means this index file will use this layout file with name underscore layout so i told you that if you are using the layout file with some other name that it will not impact the performance of application you simply have to update that name over here okay since we have written this entire code onto this layout file so we can remove it from here let's remove this entire code let's remove this one as well let's remove this button as well because this was just for the demo and here in the h1 tag let's update the message home page so just focus on the code that we have written inside this view file what we have written we have only one image and we have only one message we do not have any other structure into this and now without wasting the time let's run this application let's press ctrl f5 here you can see we got the image and we got the message that we have written for this index view file now let's see the page source for this particular page right click on this page and choose view page source here you can see the structure that we have written into this application and this structure is coming from the layout file let's open the layout file as well over here and now let's compare the code here you can see we have the same doc type file same html then we have had then all these four lines are written over here we have the title bookstore application you can see as well into the first tab that we have bookstore application as the title then we have the close of this head tag body tag start then we have this div and this div is closed over here and this render body method is replaced by two lines and these two lines we have written inside index view so here you can see we have these two lines so that render body method is replaced by these two lines and then at the last you can see we have the closing of this body tag and we have the closing of this html tag now let's make some changes into this about us application so here you can see we also have to update this layout file simply use layout and then remove this entire code except this h1 tag this is the about page of this application let's try to run this application now by pressing ctrl f5 so this is the home page if i open the about us page and press enter then you can see we have the message this is the about page of application if we see the html structure over here view page source then you can see we have the same structure over here and with this message this is the about page of this application just for the learning purpose if i update some code into this layout file suppose i'm writing here like 
this is common code to all the views and go back to the browser let's refresh this page here you can see we are getting this message onto this about us page and if i go back to the home page of this application then again you can see we are getting this message it means we are getting the common code on all the pages that we have created into this application let's close the browser let's open the home controller now and inside this home controller let's create one more action method let's copy this code paste it again and now choose contact us this time let's try to add a new view to this application right click on this one and choose add view so here is the name of this file then you can see we have the template so we do not have any knowledge about the template for now ignore this one ignore all of these but just focus on this use a layout page file let's check this checkbox here you can see we have a message over here leave empty if it is set in razor underscore view start file since we do not have any view start file as of now into this application so we cannot leave this one empty we have to choose our view to choose a view simply click on these three dots and where is our layout file it is available inside this views folder then the shared and here we have the layout file let's choose this layout file press ok and click on the add button let's remove this line view data here you can see we have the layout property and inside this layout property we have the entire part of this layout file so there are two options either you can keep the entire part or you can simply use underscore layout and here you can see we have the message which is contact us by default we are not getting the entire html structure into this view why we are not getting this entire html structure because we have enabled the layout file for this particular view and now let's try to run this application by pressing ctrl f5 let's navigate to the contact us page how can we do that first we have to enter the name of this controller then the name of that action method press enter this time you can see first we have the common message then we have the message that we have written on this contact us page which is contact us if you need to see the structure of this page as well then right click on this one and choose view page source again you can see we have the same structure for this contact a space as well so it means we have created the common code into one layout file now let's focus on what are the benefits of using layout file into asp.net core application less code since we are not repeating the same code again and again so it means we are writing less code into the application centralized code for static files since all the static files just like all the css or js file are referred only at one place for all the views it means we can say this is just the centralized place if in case we need to update the path or any other thing in any static file then we can simply do that all those changes at one place no duplicate code obviously since we are not repeating the code again and again it means we are not duplicating anything as i have already told you if there is any change then we can simply update at one place for example if there is any change on the footer then we have to update the code only at the one place good architecture since we are focusing on all the points that we have written above this one so it means we are focusing a good architecture for this application i believe all of you will like this video that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day